Hey guys, welcome to FEP Labs Radio. My name is Jim, KN4YCD. Today I want to talk about my FT891 portable setup and how I have that interfaced with Ham Radio Deluxe, WSJTX. I'm using a signal link for sound card and a LDG Z100 tuner for tuning on the radio. I'm using an Alpha Antenna FMJ for portable operations. Uh, as well as uh, I can use Ham Radio Deluxe and WSJTX. So I want to talk about that, take a look at how I have everything wired up, how I have the software interfaced, and why I'm doing it that way and, and what it does for me. Stick around. Thanks. So here's the basic setup. Signal Link, Z100 Plus Tuner, and then the 891. The 891 we have an antenna connection. This is the cable going to the signal link out of the accessory port. This is USB for CAT control and this is the cable going to the tuner to drive the tuner. All right, on the radio, of course that's power. Over here on the tuner, there's our antenna input. I don't have this wired up fancy with an external connector. You know, I just I didn't feel like doing that. I didn't want to drill into the case. It's not the most fabulous case in the world, but without a hole in it, it's watertight. So uh, there's our ground connection, which I have yet to get one hooked up. There's the antenna input to or output to the radio. All right. And then, of course, power and then uh, our cable going to the radio for the for the tuner, which is right here. Let me move the mic out of the way. So there's the tuner. Over here, we have the signal link. The signal link is powered off of USB. It has one cable on it besides the USB cable. Uh, this is the control cable that goes back to the radio to the accessory port on the radio. And then I have a 12 volt powered USB hub. And it's important that this is a powered hub. I had to specifically find one and they, they make them. This runs off of 12 volts DC. So I have it wired into my power hub here. The battery supports the power hub provides power and then I've got the radio itself the tuner runs off 12 volts obviously and then the signal link runs off of 5 volts USB so one of these powers the USB hub so I'm putting out solid power on all these ports on a USB hub plus which each USB 3 and when I first set this up I had an unpowered hub and it didn't work very well it was kind of sketchy whether it was going to work, so I went back and got a powered USB hub, and that did indeed solve the problem. And then as far as hooking up the signal link itself, when you order the signal link, you tell them what kind of cable you need, uh, which depends on your radio model. And then they sell a jumper block that lets you wire up the internals on the signal link to match the control lines for the radio. So that's how that's set up pretty straightforward and they have all that information on their on their page all right so that's the basic uh, hardware setup and then this USB cable here goes over to my uh, tablet which is uh, as I mentioned a Dell venue don't judge my workbench and there's the tablet and it's it's on running Windows so that's my hardware setup great Okay, here's the screen to the 891, and I just wanted to show you that this is settings that you need to tinker with if you're going to use a signal link with the 891. So the two important ones to look at there are data in select and data PTT select, and those need to be set just like shown. Data in select needs to be rear. That allows the accessory cable to key everything uh, and to take a key command from the... Um, cat control device which in my case is the tablet running ham radio deluxe and WSJTX and then uh, the PTT select has to be DACI and so those two things work together so that we can use HRD to run the radio and WSJTX will talk to HRD and do its thing on the radio okay so this is the uh screen for my mobile computer. I have a Dell Venue tablet, fairly old, six, seven years old, uh, and it runs Windows 10. 
this is the HRD Ham Radio Deluxe Interface, and I don't want this to become a commercial for HRD. They are not a sponsor, never been paid for. I had to pay for the software. Um, but this lets me control the 891, and that's what I have this set up for. HRD, and I'm just going to pop up this screen real quick. So these are the settings that I would use, and these are similar to what you would put in WSJTX. So HRD is my rig control. It comes with other uh, applications with it as part of, the uh, part of the suite. Satellite tracker, a logging and spotting application, uh, a digital uh, mode program. It'll do RIDI and PSK and CW, decode and transmit, and uh, you know 30 or 40 other digital modes. Um, a rotator thing for uh, if you have a rotor, has a map integration uh, with the log function and so on and so forth. And it works with, you know, about a bazillion radios, similar to the list in WSJTX. What this gets me, and the reason I'm even talking about it is, this is my rig control for the 891. If you're familiar with the 891, there's a lot of menus, and then there's sub-menus, and there's push this button, rotate this knob, go down 46 menu items until you find the specific thing you want, push the knob in, twiddle the setting, and then back out, and so on and so forth. And outside and portable, it just gets to be a pain in the behind. With this app running, and I, I have this, I bought this originally from my 7300. It works great. I have it from my 7610. Like I said, it controls a ton of radios, and it runs with the 891. So uh, one license lets you run this on five computers, I think, so I have it on three. Uh, <clears throat> but this lets me... Uh, down here, my I think my head's in the way, but I can control the volume of the radio, noise reduction. These are all configurable, what I do with these sliders here, so I can set it to the things that I'm interested in tinkering with for the radio, mic gain, power. Um, up here in the upper right, of course, these are, are hard click buttons. I can turn things on and off. These are all programmable to what they do. Enable noise blanker, you know, for example, flip on Vox, preamp on, preamp off. Uh, power the radio on and off, it, uh, fire the tuner up, force a tuning cycle. Um, I can jump the radio here by band by simply clicking like that. So again, I don't have to go through the 891's menu settings. Believe me, if you've ever tried to change bands or modes on an 891, this is awesome. So that's what this lets me do. <clears throat> this is my rig control. This is my software interface to the radio. Which brings me to why I'm talking about this specific piece of software. WSJTX can be configured to use HRD's interface. So in your list of rigs in WSJTX, you simply set it to Ham Radio Deluxe. It talks to the local HRD server application that's built into HRD on your local computer. Uh, this isn't over the internet, although you can use it that way, I believe. And then uh, it manages, it, it talks to HRD. HRD does what it needs to do with the radio. Based on those settings I showed you uh, earlier for the 891, this lets me run WSJTX and make contacts with WSJTX. So digital mode with an 891 with a signal link on battery portable. Uh, so for contesting or field day or whatever, you know, or just or POTA, for example, or SOTA, although it's a lot of gear I have to carry up a mountain and Jim is not walking up a mountain. Um, so this is why I use it. Uh, WSJTX will certainly manage the radio by itself as in the digital mode functions, but WSJTX doesn't do a whole lot of other things. Uh, you know, if I'm portable, I, I may want to use sideband or I may want to use WSJTX. So this is my interface into, into the radio is via these, the HRD program, which lets me run WSJTX on top of it and control the radio. So that's it. That's why I'm using that. Okay, guys, that's all I have for you today. Appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. Hope you got something out of it. I love ham radio. It's technical. There's always something to learn. You know, I just, there's, there's so many pieces and parts to amateur radio. It's amazing to me. Just when I think I've learned the most awesome thing, I find something even newer and more awesome to learn. 
So for me, this is a journey of discovery. And just a little quick background. I've been an amateur since 2019, since September of 2019. So I haven't been in the hobby that long. My background is network information security, network engineering kind of thing. So I'm technical by nature, but uh, I really enjoy our hobby. I hope you guys do too. In any case, that's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. And if you would, please hit the uh, like button down below and share this and subscribe if you're not already. That's how we have YouTube keep pushing more new awesome content to you guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. 73.